The Vital Living Lab, which is hosted at RAF Lehman, is in collaboration with Newcastle University. Uh, and Newcastle University is looking at how we can support the RAF's journey to net zero. As part of that, a key project is how can we help them get off natural gas for heating? Uh, and one option for that is geothermal energy. And that's exactly what we're exploring here. We are providing our nimble system, um, which is an agile system, um, which comes with nodes as well for deployment on, um, on small to medium scale projects. We're providing several thousand nodes, um, which are deployed across the base, being used in a two um, phase project, both for active and passive source acquisition. I think for this project is very much focusing on the science and the end result and sort of looking at the bigger picture which we can build at the end of it, which, which is trying to help the RAF reach net zero by 2040. So bringing in different sciences, different equipment, and really trying to build this all together um, for, a, for a solution which will actually help sort of the wider audience. And um, that's been uh, quite different to um, a lot of the other projects which we've worked on uh, previously. So day to day we've been deploying, I think we've got up to about three and a half thousand nodes now across the entire base. So it's been myself, uh, Mark and a team of um, students from Newcastle University who've been actually deploying all of these, these nodes. So a lot of walking but it's been, it's been great of just getting a chance to basically deploy nodes across the entire area in a way that we just wouldn't be able to do um, using sort of traditional big broadband size monitors so it's great to, to do it this way. The Stride equipment has been used in 11 geothermal projects globally, ranging from territories such as USA through to continental Europe and countries such as Belgium, France, Switzerland and then all the way down to Indonesia. Um, and for this we've been, it's been deployed in a variety of different, um, different ways, from 2D surveys up to 3D and pseudo 3D and high density, um, trying to support the different phases of geothermal projects ranging from regional 2Ds where you're basically just scouting out for the preferable areas for geothermal exploration and um, going um, down to more bespoke smaller high density 3D surveys looking at uh, sort of pre-drill areas trying to de-risk where the actual um, well target will be and then moving on to the um, sort of post-drill looking at the production phase where we're trying to monitor for seismicity either natural or induced in the subsurface. The hope by the end of the, the project is that what we'll have is an image of the rocks beneath the ground and where we might be able to identify targets to drill to in the future. The ultimate goal is to establish if geothermal is a viable option for decarbonising the heating at uh, RAF Lehman uh, and then to look at the best options for that, whether it's the locations on this base or the locations in other places around the around the UK and then we want to be able to export the process and the approaches that we've taken to other similar areas such as other urban areas.